Hello everyone, this is Meta of CPBN and welcome to episode 3 of the Meta with Metagross. Now today I've got a great battle to share with you all. Um, I came up against someone on the battle spot. He was using an Infinite, a Garchomp and a Noivern, so a pretty hard hitting team. I I led with my normal sort of team, you know, my Mega Beedrill, my Eggy Slash and a Talonflame. And this battle was great, it's, it ended up being quite close at the end and uh, Mega Beedrill just about hung on after a brilliant attack. I lead with my Mega Beedrill and he ends up leading with a Noivern. Obviously Noivern Flying Dragon. I then Mega Evolve which gives me access to high speed and attack but low defences. I use protect because the stat changes don't come until the next turn. Air slash is protected and now I use poison jab. Poison jab being stab as well as Mega Beedrill's massive attack means it's going to hit for a lot. Now Beedrill just about holds on for a super effective air, uh, air slash with 2 HP and the poison jab will take it out. That shows the importance of making sure your Pokemon are EV trained in the areas that count. Because that otherwise would have taken out Beedrill. Unfortunately, Mac Punch is priority move. It will take it out first. There we are now leaving my Talonflame and, you know, Smogon Bird. Great results, even though it's very much cliche. It's very cliche Pokemon. Brave Bird will take out the Infinite in one hit. I give my Time Flame a sharp beak, so it hits for much. It's about 20% stronger, I think. And Garchomp, I'll use another Brave Bird. And that will bring it down to red health, critical hit, but I do take a lot of damage from that. And Dual Chop will take out the Talonflame, unfortunately. <laughs> now, this is my last Pokemon, and it's his last Pokemon. It's getting rather close, so I send out my Aegis Slash. I know I can depend on it. Earthquake will hit for a lot of damage, because obviously, ground is super effective against Steel, but my weakness policy kicks in, which sharply raises attack and special attack, so that's a two-stage increase. Stance Chain will put me in attack form, and I use a Shadow Ball because I know it's going to hit 100% accuracy. And that that's that, that's game. So overall this was a, uh, ended up being a really close battle and I honestly think if I hadn't put that tiny little 4 EV into HP for Beedrill, then it would have been KO'd and the whole tide of the battle might have changed. So that does definitely show the importance of looking into the EVs, looking at the weak stats, where it can be exploited, you know, work out what you need to increase to cover that, you know, because otherwise that air slash will have one hit KO'd my Mega Beedrill, and I don't know, it could it could have potentially changed the whole game, the whole game's outcome. So I hope you enjoyed this battle. If you have any recommendations of what you want me to do, or any team setups that you want me to try out or review, please do let me know. I'll be reading the comments as soon as I can and as much as I can. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll speak to you guys later.